New video out of Nashville, Tennessee shows the moment that a bomb went off on Christmas Day and the chaos that followed. Investigators have revealed some of the suspects actions as they search for a motive. Mola Lingi reports from Nashville. The FBI is piecing together who the suspected bomber was before the explosion. Prior to the Christmas morning blast that injured three people, Anthony Warner deeded his house to someone and gave someone else his car, telling them he had cancer. The FBI is investigating Warner's medical records to see if that's true. David Rausch is director of the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Uh, clearly, there had to be some uh, precipitating event. Uh, that, that calls the action. Newly released police body cam footage shows the eerie scene before the bombing as a warning message plays from the RV. That's so weird. That's like something out of a movie. Like the purge? Yeah. Moments later, the RV explodes. Then officers begin guiding bystanders away from the scene. Oh, no, I guess. Where's your car? You okay, go to your car. Let's go. Authorities are also combing through the 63-year-old's credit card records, which appear to show purchases of security alarms and chemical precursors, material possibly used to make a homemade bomb. Rick Lottie it's says he call. lived near it's Warner for nearly call. a decade. He spoke it's with the suspect four days before the bombing. I asked him, is Santa going to bring you anything good for Christmas? And he smiled and he said, oh yeah. I'm going to be famous. Nashville and the world will never forget me. Lottie, the neighbor, says that it always seemed that Warner was a recluse and never got close to any of his other neighbors. Meanwhile, here in Nashville, officials have been trying to reassure the public that the city is safe, that there are no outstanding threats out there. The FBI says Warner acted alone. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, Nashville.